Don't you just love the smell of a day old oil? the lab. Today we're actually going to make a special burger that I actually got from Vegan Food Share's brain and he said that I needed to make a poutine burger. Poutine? 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 Anyway, so we're going to make that real quick, but first, let me just let you guys know what's going on. I am doing a couple more shows. Of course, the interview one, which I just, like, it's hard to interview myself. I need someone. But other than that, we are doing some other shows, and this one's going to be called um, Unhealthy Vegan Approved, with the thumb, with thumb down. And what's going to happen is I'm actually going to have recipes that I'm going to follow and do them on a show like this, sort of, and then eat it, and I'm going to give my honest review on it. So, to start us off, this was not paid by the Vegan Zombie. So we have the new Vegan Zombie Cookbook. Well, it's not that new, but it's new to me, and it's Cook and Survive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go through random ones. They haven't told me to choose one. And I'm going to pick one, and then make it, and then try it, and then tell you if you should buy the cookbook because that recipe was amazing or not. We'll see. BAM! Also got the Thug Kitchen, because I'm a thug, you heard? And the same thing. Gonna go through it. I haven't actually looked at any of these yet. I'm not actually a recipe follow the kind of guy, but we'll see. And also, they'll let me know on their comments, like, hey, you didn't even follow the recipe right. Hopefully I do, and hopefully the food's good so I can say, yay, it's amazing. Because if I catch them on the street and I said it was doo-doo, yeah. Anyways, enough of all that. I'm also letting you guys know that pretty soon we're going to have the season finale of the Unhealthy Vegan Lab. I know, I'm sorry. It's probably going to be at the end of April. Just have a couple more episodes to go, and then we're going to take a little break because I am tired. Oh, and we're also going to be doing those Saturday night What Vegans Do. Remember, it's the last Saturday of every month, but I think I'm changing that. I'm just going to put one Saturday of the month more if I want to. So just randomly on Saturdays, I'm just going to post it because I can't wait till the last Saturday and then sometimes I forget, like this Saturday I kind of forgot. So, you know, i just rather have it Saturdays during the months, what vegans do. And don't forget, I know the Vegan Lab will be every Friday, but once the season finale ends, we'll be gone for a while. But we'll have other shows, you know, like what vegans do and of course, unhealthy vegan approved or not approved. Working title, we'll see. Anyways, back to the vegan poutine, 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 burger. Let's get started, shall we? Got my personal sidekick right here, the fryers. And we have fries that we've already fried once. And now we're gonna refry them again because you gotta double fry to make them extra crispy. And we're gonna season them with some garlic and parsley. Let's go with the music.
excited about this. Poutine? Poutine burger? Oh, that gravy's hot. Oh yeah, I use the gravy from the Gardein Turkey Cutlet. Eat it. Just want to thank Vegan Food Chair for the inspiration on this deliciousness. All right, guys. So tune back next week. We got another show for you, and also what vegans do coming up. And yeah, look out for my new show, Unhealthy Vegan Approved. And if you have recipes, or if you're a cookbook, and you want to be judged, send that on over. Just let me know in the comments below, and we'll see what we start off with. If you guys have a special vegan zombie or thug kitchen recipe, let me know. Maybe I'll go start off with that one first, see how it goes. But this needs to be in a cookbook. Like now. <clears throat> I shall see y'all later.